Fallon Davis, it's great to have you on the show. Let me ask you first about what motivates you to be a change maker in your community. My motivations really are my tribe, my community. I wouldn't be able to do the work that I'm doing without the educators that put in their time and investment, without my partners for believing in me, my board, my team, my family. So when you have that big of a, a support system and you have people really counting on you, it, it really makes it better to wake up every day doing the work and being a community leader because the work is heavy. So you got to be able to let love and uh, enjoy life. What makes the work heavy? You are the founder of STEAM Urban. Talk to me a little bit about that and the challenges you've come up against in getting that off the ground just even the black and white legalities, trying to figure out that process uh, was challenging because I didn't really have a lot of internal help. I really had to do a lot of outsourcing um, and I wanted to do it the right way. You know, I wanted to make sure that when our organization, you know, came to fruition that we had nothing that anyone could stop us with. STEAM Urban is an expressive arts and STEM discipline education program for black and brown students of all ages. And our focuses are um, environmental justice, social justice, and educational equity. And so what that really looks like is we design these interactive learning experiences that allow everyone to come alive, to connect back to nature, to learn about plant-based living, and the lifestyle to get connected back to our indigenous roots with gardening and farming and really just finding innovative, innovative things to um, kind of combat the disparities that we're facing, but also get people to really enjoy uh, being an advocate for their community. One of the questions we look to answer in this series, Fallon, is does where you live affect your outcome in life? And mm. I want to put that question to you. Has it mm -hmm. and does it? In areas without resources, without access, you really, your quality of life is really hindered. And especially in black and brown communities, as I watched my family members and different people that I have, you know, met along the way, really get, you know, deterred and, and moved off track by the traumas and constant, you know, systemic oppressions that were faced on a daily basis trying to survive is like the most important thing. And you can't be free if you're always in survival mode. And so when you get out of that hustle and bustle and you really start to create an environment where life can be thriving, where you have healthy food, clean water, clothing, you know, healthcare, you 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 are just a better human in general because you're taken care of very well. Fallon Davis, it's really good to talk with you. Thanks for sharing your story with us. Thank you so much for having me. I really do appreciate you giving me a platform to share my story.